Joining us in the studio is Professor Hans Lirach, Director of the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Genetics and an expert on the genetic characteristics of cancer cells. Now we heard about a medication in the report, which is good for less than 1% of the patients with lung cancer. I mean, what is that good for than for the other 99%? How can we help them? We have a set of uh, treatments for similar cases. Uh, typically rare changes uh, where we have drugs which are directly recognizing those changes and treating therefore uh, the patients uh, quite well. In the overwhelming uh, majority of the cases we have uh, we have, don't have this possibility so we have to uh, use a different approach which we have been uh, developing at the institute um, in, in this uh, different strategy, we sequence the genome of the tumor, the mm. transcriptome of the tumor and the genome of the patient and then model the tumor and ideally the patient in great detail in the computer. So for most uh, cancer drugs, only a very small fraction of the patients really respond really on a small fraction are uh, reacting positively uh, to the drug. I understand, but, but your model, that sounds very interesting, but also a bit like science fiction. It means that you model a whole tumor, you have to put all the data, all the information about the tumor and the patient into your computer model? Our model uh, just has to be better than the clinical practice of today. Okay. I think it's a moment we are way beyond uh, the usual success rate of uh, treatment in oncology, but it's going to take decades to reach perfection in those models. So we are really at the beginning of a very long road in a sense. We are having the equivalent of having a integrated circuit, but we don't have a cray yet. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but, but isn't um, medicine and molecular biology with cells, isn't that so complicated? And you can have so many different mutations actually leading to cancer that you will never be able to really model it in a computer. Quite the contrary. The more complex the situation is, the uh, more we are dependent on computer models to predict what's going to happen if you treat a specific patient with a specific therapy. But then of course you still need the different medication to help these patients. I mean, do we have these uh, different uh, innovative medications? On one hand, we can take advantage of drugs which are approved for other diseases. We have treated one patient, for example, with a drug which usually is used for rheumatoid arthritis not for cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so we have access to drugs which usually wouldn't be uh, considered because they mm -hmm. show success in the computer model. Mm -hmm. But this computer model, the virtualization of the drug development process is also the best way to increase the number of drugs available for okay. those patients I can by tell orders of magnitude. Yeah, there is a revolution in medicine coming up. Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Hans Lirach. Thank you.